satisfy this concept, you take the vial amount and convert it to micrograms by multiplying by 1,000. In this case, 10 times 1,000 equals 10,000 micrograms. That's the amount in the vial. Then you take the number of milliliters of backwater you're using and multiply by 100. In this case, 2 milliliters times 100 equals 200. Next, divide the first number by the second number. 10,000 divided by 200 equals 50. This is the amount of peptide in micrograms per unit. Again, 50 micrograms times 10 units on the insulin syringe equals 500 microgram dose. Now, does this mean that you always use two milliliters to reconstitute a 10 milligram vial? No, sometimes you may use three milliliters instead. It's not a right or wrong thing. It really depends on the peptide being used and also the precision of the user. If we used three milliliters in the previous example, this would change the amount of peptide in each unit because 10,000 is now divided by 300, which equals 33.3. .3. To obtain our 500 microgram dose, now we must pull the syringe to 15 units instead of 10 units. So this will be a larger volume injection, but less concentrated. It also means that you have some leeway with respect to precision. What does that mean? Well, if you were off by one unit on the syringe, you will only be off by 33 micrograms instead of 50. So if you're not great at measuring with the syringe, you're probably better off using more backwater to allow for user error.